Hi guys, okay, so today we're gonna do notebook sample number five where we move our basic dart that we have on our one dart sloper, and we're gonna move the dart that's at the waist, and we're gonna move it to the neck. Now, last time we learned how to do that with the slash and spread method, but this time we're doing the pivotal transfer method, and by now you should have watched the um, like demonstration where I demonstrate how to do that by hand. Um, following the instructions from the book. So this video is for how to do that in CLO. Um, now again, I think you would probably just rotate the dart if that was really your goal, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it like if we were gonna pivot it as well. I don't know, I guess I'll just show another way. Um, and I want you to do it just so that you can get more familiar with different tools in CLO. Um, and then you can decide for yourself what you think is more intuitive. Um, so, okay, so we are going to move this dart to the neckline. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my slash line, basically the line where the new dart will be. And to do that, I'm going to use the internal tool, the internal line tool, keyboard shortcut letter G. So I'm just going to click that. And then I'm going to click here at the dart point, And then I'm just going to aim it towards the neck. And then to stop drawing, all I have to do is hit return. Okay, and then it should be done. Okay, so I don't know if I really did hit my pattern edge to edge. So it's important now to go and select that line I just drew. Um, you can hit the letter Z for a keyboard shortcut to switch tools. And then I'm gonna hover over it. I'm going to right click, and I'm just gonna say extend to the pattern outline. Okay, so I think we're good now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this guy and then I'm gonna close this dart. And when this dart closes, because he's cut, it'll be open. So I think at first I'm just gonna show you the easiest way and then I'll just show you another way. I don't know why. I just wanna get you guys as comfortable with all these tools as possible. So, um, so I'm gonna right click and I can either cut it or cut and sew and I know I'm gonna to want to sew it together later so I'm just gonna do cut and sew if you did cut you just manually go in and sew it later but I think it's probably faster to do that okay so now this guy will be sewn together but now I want to close this guy so I don't know I think the first time I looked at this I was like oh I want to rotate it I actually don't need to rotate it um, if I just I can just select this line, sorry. I can select this segment and select this one and, and merge them together. But if visually that's something you wanna do or you really wanna pivot your pattern, I kinda just wanna demo that real quick for you. So you would select this tool and you would select it. And then this is the rotate button, but right now the pivot point is centered. So to move our pivot point to our bust point, I would just double click it and then I can move it. And that's where the little pin goes in the book where you push the push pin and now you can rotate it and it'll rotate on like the push pins right there. Okay. So if you wanted to follow the book, you could do that. But if you did, like if you could also skip that as well. I know. I sometimes I talk too much. Okay. So I'm going to select this start and I'm going to select this. And if I right click, I can merge them together. Merge. So now it's together. And they left this baseline just for you to show. I mean, you don't need it. It's locked right now. We can unlock, we can delete it. Um, or you can just leave it there as a reference point. Now you'll notice our mirrored pattern is no longer mirrored. And that's because when we cut it, we broke it into two separate pattern pieces. So you can do the exact same thing over here on the other side, or if you want, you can re-mirror it. So I think I'll show you how to re-mirror it since I already showed you how to um, merge this guy. So I'd, what I'll do is I'm gonna take this guy and I will just delete it. And then I'm gonna select this line and this line, and I'll delete that. So now my pattern is back on center front. Then I'm gonna select this line, I'll right click, 
and I'll say unfold symmetric editing with the sewing. There we go. So now it's back where if I make any changes, it'll do it to both sides. Um, okay, well, let's see if this worked. Oh, you know what? Because I did that, I think I might have to... I wonder if my side seams are still good or not. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. My sewing side seams are there. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to hit the simulate button. I'm going to zoom in with the roll. I'm going to pan by holding option and clicking and dragging. Um, I can use the hand thing too. If it's like fitting her funny, you can kind of tug it to get it on her the right way. Yeah, it's like, okay, so right away I'm like, ooh, those are some long darts. <laughs> so if that bugs you, you can get your um, edit pattern tool, letter Z, go into that dart point, oopsies, and deselecting it by just clicking once in the background, and now I can just select just that one point. And you can click and drag where you want it. If you hold shift, it makes it go straight up and down. Okay, and then let's go ahead and re-simulate to see what that looks like. Okay, give it a little tug so it's on her. Yeah, I mean, so at this point, you're the designer, you're the pattern maker, you can move that wherever you think is most appropriate. And that's it. You're ready to take your snapshots and to turn in this assignment.